Hey guys, Mill here from MLJ Exploration. Now today's adventure is going to take me from where I'm staying in Lanvis Synagogue to Lamberis. And I'll be going via Bed Gellert and the Lamberis Pass to get there. And I'll be stopping in key places along the way, such as Bed Gellert. Once I get to Lamberis, I'll then follow up with some more sort of interesting stories, a bit of the history about the place, and uh, let's go from there. I've just parked up on the outskirts of Bed Gellert and I thought I'd decide to uh, sort of walk in and uh, take a bit of a walk off the beaten track, shall we say, and uh, enjoy some of the absolutely gorgeous scenery of the Snowdonia National Park. Wales has always been quite a, uh, especially Snowdonia, always been a um, quite a happy place for me, really. Uh, helped out over here during COVID and uh, Spent a lot of time across here on holidays and as you've seen me and Jack were here on a previous road trip about three years ago. So uh, I thought why not to officially announce that we're back, come back to Wales where we had our pretty much our first road trip for the channel and uh, as you can see considering it's the last day in October it's actually quite mild and uh, yeah just look at this wonderful scenery uh, it is beautiful now the reason why I've chosen Bed Gellert to sort of start it all off today is uh, because there's like a lot of places in Wales there's always a myth or a legend or something behind it and um, for those dog lovers out there it's a little bit of a sad story which I'll discuss more when uh, I had to get to the uh, village. So guys, I'm on the outskirts of uh, Bed Gillet and there is a locally known folk tale uh, about a, uh, well, about a dog. And it's over to you, Jack. The 13th century Prince Quellen the Great was an early inhabitant of what would one day become the village of Bed Gillet. Fond of hunting, he owned many hounds, but his favorite was called Gellert, which was given to him by the English King John. One day, the prince and his princess set out for a day's hunting together, leaving their baby in the care of Gellert. On returning home, they were horrified to discover their baby was missing and Gellert's muzzle was covered in blood. Llewellyn immediately drew his sword and in deep despair, killed his favourite hound. As Gellert fell to the ground, he let out a mighty yelp and a baby's cry was then heard from a dark corner of the room in response. Llewellyn discovered his ear unharmed, but by its side lay Mighty Wolf, which had been killed by Gellert. Gellert had killed the wolf to defend the baby, but died by his master's sword. Grief-stricken and filled with remorse, Llewellyn gave the faithful hound a ceremonial burial by the river and is said to have never smiled again. So that means that Bed Gellert is one of the few places in the UK, and maybe even the world, where the villagers can say that their village was named after a dog. Back to you in Wales, Milson. Thanks for that, Jack. There is actually a grave in Bed Gillet, which I'll show you in a second. But if we just walk up here, there is actually a bronze statue of Gellert the dog. I think the story is called the Gellert the Faithful Hound. It is very, very well known around here. Quite a well known story. And uh, we just walked through here. This was Gellert the uh, Faithful Hound, the one to start with him. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so we so walk back down here. This is Geller's grave, and it tells actually on the gravestone marks, it actually tells the story. 